How to adjust the 403Z applicator can be found in the 403Z manual on pages 10 and 11. You will need the small screwdriver, sleeve guides, and small allen wrench provided by HG Adhesive Dispensing when the applicator was purchased. To begin, remove the 403Z cap and the catalyst insert hat. Use the allen wrench to test the tightness of the set screw on the catalyst side. Always make sure that the set screw has been loosened before adjusting the applicator. About half to three quarters of a turn counterclockwise should make the set screw loose enough for adjustments. This particular applicator has catalyst coming out too fast and does not need adjustments on the base, so we can go ahead and tighten the base set screw. Make sure there is a little bit of play in the handle, around 3 16 of an inch. If there is no play in the handle, the adjusting screws on the back of the applicator and or the base and catalyst seat assemblies may be too loose and other adjustments will be needed. Squeeze the applicator trigger until both materials emerge. Wipe the end of the applicator. Now squeeze the trigger very lightly to see which material emerges first, in this case catalyst. Insert sleeve into the catalyst side adjusting screw. Slide the screwdriver into the sleeve and rotate it until it fits into the slot of the catalyst seat assembly. Double check that the set screw is loose. While gently squeezing the trigger, slightly turn the screwdriver clockwise. Wipe the end of the applicator and gently squeeze the trigger again to see what material comes out first. Continue this process until both materials emerge at the same time. Once adjusted correctly, tighten the set screw on the catalyst side, remove the sleeve and the screwdriver, and reinstall the catalyst insert hat. Attach the 403Z shroud assembly to prepare for the butterfly test. Remember that everything on the shroud assembly should only be hand tightened. After letting the material run to ensure a full mix, run a bead of material roughly 3 feet long. We ran Dow Corning 983 gray silicone. Fold the bead in half, flatten, and separate to look for inconsistencies in the material. As you can see here, the material has mixed perfectly. Thank you for watching. Please give us a call if you have any questions and check out our website for all your meter, mix, and dispense machine needs.